and right now we're packing up our stuff and we're leaving 11 a.m. from this Airbnb and we're heading back to Busan. We love Busan because we feel the locals there. Though Seoul is really, really good, but if you like something that is like you see the locals, experience the local things, people, Busan is good. Honestly, it's, it's, just, it's just the vibe that we want. So, we're almost done. And that's my stuff. And his stuff. Mine is called stuff. And his stuff is like, stuff! <laughs> Doesn't bring much. <laughs> Okay, so we'll see you at the salt station. Okay, I'll give you more updates about it. Thank you. Love you all. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and turn the notifications bell on. Okay? There's no Jollibee here, unfortunately. Bakdo, yes, and KFC. <laughs> so we'll see you later at the palace. Okay, it's the most popular ready-made rice. Korean lunch. You know, they always have ready-made lunch. So, you know, I'm just going to use microwave to warm them up. No bougie thing now. No bougie lunch today. No spicy for me. Yeah, because I have allergies. That's my triggers. My nemesis. Chi, they have so much um, tasty, delicious kimchi here, but fortunately I can't eat kimchi because I have allergies and those are my triggers. <laughs> no kimchi for me. If you're wondering what is this, I know you're good to see your place. This is their convenience store here in Korea. Uh, this is prevalent here, everywhere. You can see, good to see you. It has a similitude with 7-Eleven and this is their 7-Eleven. They still have, uh, have a 7-Eleven here, but this one is most popular in South Korea. There's so one thing you should also try, which my partner, he advised me to try this one, banana milk. This is popular where, where baby? This, this kind of banana milk. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese and Taiwanese. Ah, okay. From Japanese and Taiwanese. I love it. It's so good. Chong Yunggung Palace. Hi, fit travelers. So, currently we are in Chong Yunggung Palace. Beautiful palace here in the heart of Seoul. This is the type, top five most famous palace here in that a tourist must visit and right now we paid for 3,000 uh, won each entrance fee per person and the story of history of this palace is it was formerly known as Sunggangung Palace correct me if I'm wrong and now changed it to Chongyunggung Palace uh, by the fourth ruler dynasty Joseon dynasty and it was changed to like botanical garden and uh, park and small zoo during, zoo during the um, Japanese colonial ruler so that's the, the snippets or some short history about this Changyeonggung palace so let's explore another uh, information about this uh, Changyeonggung palace this was the former headquarters of the queens and the, including the concubines Ooh, that's weird. This place is really, really Instagrammable. Look at the color. And the smell is musty actually because they have this really old. Beautiful, they have a garden. It's summer, so we don't see any flowers right now. It's just greens. Wow, look at this. 
small lobby here. Small porch. <laughs> Let's walk there. They don't allow you to step here because the, the place is really old. So you can just take a look around the windows. The windows there. And my partner, he's having a good time right now. Sitting like a king. He owns this place. He was the king of the Joseon dynasty. But unfortunately, he is called um, Roger Snow. <laughs> the son of a bastard. <laughs> if you know what uh, snow means, it's coming from the uh, TV series uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Roger Snow. <laughs> Here in Seoul, Korea, there are pedestrian lanes. They have also like a crossover here. Like most pedestrian lanes are like from side to side, but this one, even at the middle, is like cross. We got two for one. We got two for one. <laughs> and you know what? Look, free admission. So most museums here are free of admission, especially in Busan. But most, but palaces they have entrance fees, minimum three thousand won. Let's explore another history museum. We've known a lot of museums of history about Seoul, Korea, but we want to uh, know more about So, okay. We are in Seoul Museum of History. It is freezing right now. It's like a mist. Feels like refreshing. Oof. But the rain is coming, not coming down so hard. So we're still able to explore some things before we leave Seoul. So that's the Seoul History Museum. I'm not sure if they will allow me to take videos inside because most most um, museums they don't allow to. So hopefully, if not, at least I see you the facade of the history museum. <laughs> Especially about history, I recommend this one Seoul Museum of History. It's very informative. They elaborate every piece of the history from the beginning to Korean War up to present. I was curious how their, you know, their fashion makeup started. So it was also there. So you better visit this one. You will love it. But you have to at least to spend at least six hours because it has second floors. And if you're going to peruse every detail, so you really have to spend at least more than six hours here, okay? After visiting the museum, so we headed to Busan and we are now, we got in Busan, we took a taxi and from Seoul to Busan, it's three and a half hours, so we just watch some movies just to make sure we don't feel the three hours time. Looking for a hotel, oh, that one. so that's our hotel, finally it's time to rest. So let's just stay here for a week. So most doors here in Korea, they, they don't have keys or cards. It's just automatic. You just press the code and you can get it. It's very convenient rather than using keys. And this is our room for a week. We have television, but obviously we don't watch TV. And close it. And we have a bathroom here. Okay, net towels. Mostly they provide everything that you need. And kitchen and my washer. <laughs> I like washer. It's a staple for me. It's time to say goodnight and we'll see you again tomorrow or any other day. Embarking on a new adventure of free travel vlog located at the southernmost part of Busan. It's for you to islets, meaning five or six islets. It depends on the time. This is one of the most uh, places where tourists they always visit or tourists visit so you must put down on your bucket list uh teacher yes what's an islet an islet means an island small islands oh, and wh why, why is it five or six it depends on the tide right <laughs> sounds like the philippines <laughs> it depends on the tide the number of islets depends on the tide let's uh Oh my god, this is feels so serene and it's 
really a good place to kick back. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it reminds me of uh, Batanes and yes. North, you know. Yes, Batanes in the Philippines. If you're going here to for you to Island, you should come here before 6 p.m. because right now the office is already closed. And if you do, if you go here early, you will enjoy the glass floor over there and you will have the taste of the nice view of the Oryukdo Islets. Well, we're just here. Or we're in prison. Or I'm incarcerated. Or you could do the Filipino thing and just jump the fence. Yeah.